ladies and gentlemen, the situation with this flesh eating bacteria is actually getting worse. And it appears to be the coastal states, states that are bordering the ocean. And I'm not surprised. We see so many things going on and we're seeing places where it's heating up to temperatures we never seen before. So flesh eating bacteria is nothing new. It actually has been around for thousands of years. But one thing that is new is the amount of cases that we are seeing on a more regular basis. So this came out in People, July 24th, 2019. Cases of flesh-eating bacteria are on the rise as summer heats up. Here's how to stay safe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's the thing. If you notice, every time it heats up, these flesh-eating bacteria cases are, are just almost like every day we're hearing about them. So the heat is doing a lot more than keeping people hot. It, it is also almost like an incubator because, you know, you got the higher ocean temperature and this bacteria, you know, the ocean is probably helping it multiply even more. As summer heats up and people head to the water to cool off, cases of flesh-eating bacteria are becoming more frequent, primarily on the East Seaboard. Now, I told y'all it was becoming a lot more prevalent on the East Coast. I'm noticing it. While chances of contracting a potentially deadly bacteria from the waters is low, there are typically 20,000 cases in the U.S. each year, which is small in relation to the number of swimmers. It is important to know how to stay safe, especially as climate change is leading to an increased number of cases. To get the facts on how people can protect themselves from all types of flesh-eating bacteria, as well as the risk, people spoke to Dr. Scott Weisenberg. All right. So generally, people use the term they refer to as a tissue-destroying infection. Different types can cause it, but one vibrio is associated with the summertime seawater exposures that are in, the, you know, this is what we're hearing in the news on a regular basis. And, and that particular form of the virus I did speak about in another video. The most severe symptoms, all right? We know, um, I know some of the people were nauseated, you know, and they start seeing their skin, literally look like it was being eaten away by this thing. And it can be deadly. It can be very deadly. It comes from swimming in waters with high amounts of bacteria, seawater and brackish water, where sea and fresh water mix. In coastal areas tend to lead to the most cases, and that's true. You can also ingest Vibrio from eating raw shellfish. So you can see the biggest cases on the East Coast, um, Delaware Bay, which I'm not that far from, uh, Ocean City, Maryland, Ocean View Beach, Virginia, Green River, Kentucky, Waterloo, Alabama, Ozona, Florida, Anna Maria Isle, um, Island, Florida, and you can see Okaloosa County, Florida, Destin, Florida, Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, Magnolia Beach, Texas, and San Diego, California. So those are the places where they are seeing it crop up the most. 
So they said they estimate, the CDC estimate, that there are 80,000 cases of this flesh-eating bacteria, 500 hospitalizations, and 100 deaths. But the number of cases has been increasing, most likely due to climate change. Yeah, because as the weather heats up, this is, yeah, it says right here, the bacteria thrives in the water with temperatures over 55 degrees. And we know it is over 55 degrees. I did a video on the Potomac River and it was 94 degrees, 94. <laughs> that was the water temperature. So ladies and gentlemen, this thing is gonna really spiral out of control in more areas than where we're seeing it. Very easy and ocean temperatures are rising. For the average person, the risk is fairly low, though anyone with an open wound should be careful. But if you remember, I did a story on a man that had cancer. He didn't have any open wounds, but he ended up dying from it. But the high risk person, someone with a compromised immune system, and that would be him, and liver disease is more likely to suffer severe consequences and should avoid the water if they have scrapes. People may also want to wear sandals in the water to prevent cuts and shower after they go in the water. Well, wow. This is crazy, but this is part of what these really hot temperatures are doing. You know, sometimes it's a lot of things happening that we don't see on the surface. And this bacteria in the water is something we just don't see with our naked eye, but it's definitely there, you know? So it's going to be interesting to see all of the things that happen this year due to the hot weather. I mean, look, I, <laughs> I'm already living proof of what can happen, you know, with the power outage and everything in the state and these horrible storms we've been having. It seems like all year, <laughs> even the winter, all the way up until now, these storms have been something else. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.